All right, so last thing I did was took a little of this uh, Prime Seal Type 3 Aviation Gasket Maker Sealer. And I just put some right around on the cylinder. Not the whole gasket, just right around blocked in the cylinder. And um, I'm convinced now that um, it's not the head gasket. So looks like I'm pulling this baby apart. God damn it, man. Here we go again. Oh, oh that went too bad. Went too bad. And if you've never seen the Indian rope trick that I was what I call it, I'll show it to you here. Take a rope, bring the piston up, stuff a rope in there, nice soft nylon rope, holds the piston down, pop these babies off. The Indian rope trick. Just the way I learn to do things. Come on now. Bagging and tagging, baby. Bagging and tagging. Make sure everything uh, gets labeled and take a couple pictures, a little video of my wiring. And so when I go to put it back, I'm not like, wah, wah, you know, where in the hell does that go? All right, I'm back, and yes, same thing. What they're doing is like right there, one and a half inches, and the 25 measures at one and three eighths, which would be, you know, where three eighths is. Right there. One, two, three, one and a half. There's one and a half. All right, I don't know if you can see that get you up here a little bit goddamn weed eater by me anyway this one is measuring one seven sixteenths right on the money in their photo they have it just one and a half is just right there, kind of like off each other. The 25 horse measures one and three eighths. So you can see there's a whole eighth of a difference there. But it's not quite exactly one and a half. Because in the article he says just that one and a half and their picture looks, you know, like the lines aren't exactly on the edges but are pretty close anyway I'm just about to pull this damn thing off and of course 
One nut left, and pain in the butt. You can't get a socket in there. All right, so here's the power head. I'm going to uh, pull this damn thing apart. And um, I'm not pulling off any covers, anything. Just going to pull the intake off. All right, so there's my intake. I mean, it just fell off. Beautiful, nice gasket. I don't know if you can see them or not, but boy, they look great. No problems there. Look real good, nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna pick up where I left off the other day. I just taken the, uh, the uh, intake cover off and uh, ran out of time and stuff and so I'm going to pick up today where I left off, take this baby apart and uh, man good looking look at that, good looking uh, reeds wow I can't see one bit of light coming through zero zilcho Looking good, looking good, looking pretty good in there too, baby. Ooh -wee. And then, like I said, all right, everything's holding in there, which is good. Bang. And roll this baby around. Like that. Bang, baby. Ooh -wee. Magnet. I see if you got those ones that freaking fall out all over the place that magnet will suck them up so fast like i was saying man look at this puppy goodness gracious Woo! i haven't seen well except for when i pulled up 40 or 40 dollar craigslist apart but i haven't seen a nice pretty bear uh crankshaft in a long time <laughs> all right put you right on let's start with the bottom cylinder here you can see boy they sure they, they i tell you what they don't look that different now other than this one has that hole in it i think you can see that maybe let me fix this a little bit but um size wise they really don't look so much different Um, before they looked a, a lot different to me but um, they really don't look too too much different now at this angle anyway let's pop this baby out see what's going on here we go Okay, the, the uh, is, it's exhaust. The uh, the rings aren't stuck. This top one feels a little sticky, but the bottom one doesn't. Man, look at that thing. All right. Maybe that's the problem. This bottom one, I mean, this top one, is nowhere near the size of that bottom one. Jesus. How come it's not coming out here? Do I have some crap in there? Ooh, what the hell's going on? What's going on? Something is is holding it. Should be sliding right out.
you know what it is it's that damn sealer I put on there this round leaked around this edge see yep that's exactly what it is all right she's out <clears throat> lay this over here this bottom cylinder I mean uh, ring see when I push it to the side see how far it sticks up like that and the top one you know what this thing does feel kind of stuck I mean it's not moving anywhere it's not doing anything it is it is kind of stuck and The rings, I like the bottom one. Yeah, see, here's the big difference too. See the gap? The bottom ring has the big gap. The top ring has a smaller gap. So if we close them up, Boom. All right, now, this is the one from the bottom, and that's the one from the top. Top, bottom. See the difference? This one's got a bigger gap. This one's pulled apart like that. A lot more almost looks the same but it's not there you could probably get a better you get it in the shot this is the, the bottom piston this is the top see that that's why this thing got stuck in there molded to that you know it should be like this all right so my haircut looking anyway pistons look great cylinders fabulous one ring just stuck in there froze down to that size has didn't didn't come back to life didn't expand um, you know, I could probably stretch it out, stick it back on there, put it in, and it'll be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up some new rings. Um, the gaskets all look good. Maybe I'll get the new head gasket. What the hell? Hone this baby out a little bit. Um, and put it back together. I think we're going to be good to go besides cleaning the carburetor. Got to get that started. And um, I've got it all tore apart. Maybe I'll get some paint on this thing and uh, clean it up real good. Gonna need a prop. Still gotta pull the gear case off, see what the hell's going on down there. So, it's coming along. Um, the crankshaft looks like freaking new. Unbelievable. Um, intake looks good. Reed valves, excellent. Uh, the head, beautiful. I even think that the uh, thermostat in there is still good. So I think we're looking good. I'm a little bit farther behind than I wanted to be. And uh, the hurricane came and screwed up. You know, we didn't get it, thank God. But it did screw some things up weather-wise and, you know, put me a little bit behind. and. Uh, which, you know, no big deal, get caught up. And uh, so I think, I think we're good to go on this puppy, man. A little, little bit of low, low compression. Not there, baby, that compression's pretty good there most of the time. And which reminds me, it's five o'clock somewhere. I'm gonna put some wings on the grill. I haven't had my wings in two weeks. All right.
Stop. Uh, 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 all right. Stay tuned, baby. I'll be back. But wait a minute. There is some numbers on this new one that I can read. There's probably some on the older one. Just has a little bit more carbon on it. All right. So I just checked the numbers. I don't know if you can see that in this light or not but it's an oversized 0 0.030 piston oversized so this thing's been bored out um, 392910 and it fits everything 25, 28, 30, 35 horse. So, all right, thanks again so much for watching my videos. If you like it, give me a like, uh, thumbs up thingy there. Thanks again for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It's just been fantastic. I love all the comments. Stay tuned, baby. You never know what the hell's going to happen next. It's this old outboard. You know the channel. <laughs>